70,000 pounds of weight under one wing. This is a big step. We're here, we did it. It's still almost impossible to wrap your head around the energy that we're gonna feel the day of launch. Looking to get a confirmation we are good to go. Finally getting to launch from Cornwall is so huge for us. It's the proving ground of the baseline of our launch system. We mean business. Let's get on and go launch a rocket. As a company, we were able to demonstrate the international launch capability that the Virgin Orbit Launcher 1 has been designed to go do. We've done a lot of work to make our system so mobile and so responsive. We really did bring a launch site with us. We flew a rocket across the Atlantic Ocean. We flew the GSC over. We have an entire set of ground support equipment that can now fit into a cargo 747. We collaborated with the Cornwall Council and built a spaceport. We have a clean room here. We can integrate satellites. We can mate the rocket. We can fuel the rocket and we can launch. We're making history as a company and we've overcome tremendous challenges to get here and to make this happen. Yeah, this was by far the, the hardest captive carry we've ever done. They're three tenths of a mile in. There were a couple of vessels that we were tracking throughout the launch day and one of which was just on the border of the hazard area. Do we know the direction they were traveling? And we were working closely with local authorities on making sure that the exact location of that boat was outside of the hazard area. They're taxiing right now. Okay. Check in before yeah. they go down the runway. So the position has not changed much, but the course they're headed is leaving, so they're on their way out. Okay, they're leaving. Yeah. Cosmic Girl Orbit Base here, clear to take off, no longer an issue. Cosmic Girl. We do training where we do what we call mayhem, which is where we look at scenarios that could be difficult to deal with and go fix in the air. We have made those as hard as we can before all those mayhems, and it probably wouldn't even come to half of what we had to deal with in the air on this flight. We got about 10 more degrees here, I think. But we, we may violate that. We'd like you to talk very quickly and let me know if you have a different opinion. We have an emerging issue here, Rob, that I, I need to inform you about. Can you skip the cold pass? I don't think you can. I would be risky. If they can truncate it. We lost communications completely to mission control for uh, what were potentially the 10 most vital minutes of the mission. Okay, there's a loss of comms. Hello, I hear you loud and clear. LA2, can you hear me? Copy girl accelerating. Copy accelerating. So in terms of a captive carry, it was our biggest nightmare. Pulling. Good light. Good light. Release, 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 good light. Yes, yeah, Doc, I know. Cheers, hold on, cheers, hold on, cheers, hold on, cheers, hold on. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the rocket came off, she lit, stage one went, and yeah, from our perspective, you know, I saw stage one just burning beautifully as she went off, so yeah, for a good amount of time, we thought we'd, uh, we'd got a good mission. All right. So, is this, are we out of the woods? Oh, we're in the second stage. Yeah. When do you feel like you can celebrate? Tomorrow morning. How would you rate the stress of this one compared to the last five? This one was an 11.
In the days leading up to launch, the best way that I can describe the overall feeling is supportive. And the local community was nothing but supportive. There was a sense of pride amongst the team and overall accomplishment on getting up through the launch day. And then on launch day, you know, although the weather was as favorable as we've had for this time of year, it still, you know, there were still rain issues, cloud issues, temperature issues. Um, so yeah, there was a, a lot more to think about than, than normal. The good part of that is we've just, you know, certainly done a hell of a lot of engineering work to clear us to operate in, in, in weather that we just couldn't have thought of before. Mojave will, you know, I will never have an issue there now. Uh, and it means it's good for where we go in the future. So a lot of hard work done and there are positives from that, you know. The launch ops team in general has put together a very solid GSE system. And the preparation that everyone did before launch was second to none. Failures um, can either break a team or make them stronger. And I think in the end, this team became stronger because of it. So I look forward to the next mission when we prove everyone that our concept is one of the best in the world and the only one in the world to be able to go anywhere and launch a rocket into space. You know, overall it was a great experience. Just everything, the camaraderie, the, you know, the enjoyment everyone had of we're on a mission to do what we came to do. And, and I think everybody, you know, the, the government, everyone kind of had that feeling that it just, it was a great experience. And you know, we'll, we'll get them next time, easily. We'll, we'll do what we always do, figure it out and never, make it never happen again. What proves this mission to be 99.9% .9 successful is we built something that's gonna surpass generations, right? So like, satellites are finite, but the infrastructure that we built here, the legislation, bringing together multiple universes from foreign diplomats to Royal Navy, that's gonna last forever, you know, so I'm really proud to be part of this Keystone mission. It's an honor, for real. It really was the 99% point that we got to. Unfortunately, the nature of the business that we're in, that I'm learning about, is that, frankly, you know, you need to do 100% in order to to get where we need and there's a lot to be proud of but I also feel you know hugely disappointed for the customers uh, you know you see the media it's all about the fact that Virgin Orbit have failed to get up there but really we were all about getting customers up there and these are startup companies as well trying to succeed um, so yeah it's uh, hugely proud of what we achieved very disappointed that we didn't make it all the way and you know definitely now it's about getting down to it and working out what to do next and make sure the next rocket is a success.